All right, Mr. Butler, um, an emotional game for you guys today. Um, a tough, tough game in regards to the start of the game. You guys even went down to 10, man. Um, can you take us through that game, and, and, and especially the first half? Take us through the first half before we go to the second half. Well, I think we're carrying some injuries. Players went, did all the best that they could, made a few mistakes. But it's about overcoming adversity. Mm -hmm. It's about having a strong coaching team and strong hearts within the players. Sometimes it's who wants it more. Uh, uh, coming to this game, you guys were 2 0 and Aggett. Um, Tivoli scored first. What was the feeling at that point? Um, did, did, was there any little, little sense of nervousness or anticipation that something might, go your, uh, might not go your way? Of course. Uh, everybody will get a little bit of, of um, 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 being get anxious at that time. But one of the things that we did is we stick together. Our mentality that we stick to our pride, stick to what our foundation and what we need to do. And Rise up, come out and talk. The coaching team was excellent. Mm -hmm. There are times that I was getting a little angry and they, they kept me together and they gave the advice and did the right thing. So it's a strong coaching team and that's why I'm not standing without them. O overall, they finished the game 3 1 um, and 5, five 1 and, and aggregate. What is the feeling now in the camp and what is, what is the emotion like for you guys? You and your coaching staff based off the work you guys are putting at this point in time how do you guys feel about um, advancing from this stage um, for, um, coming from a tough tough game well I, well I feel very very confident that going into the next games um, we'll, be, we'll be strong um, and we've shown that we're not dependent on any one player but on the team as a whole we lost our our leading goal scorer and central defender and captain in the first what five ten minutes and, um, and we were able to overcome that, played as a team, the team including the coaching staff, including the principal, including the Mona students and fans. We really did it for them and we're really happy to, 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 to perform for them. Coach, the, um, the, any differences that you saw in from the second, from the first leg? It seemed that Tivoli were playing even a lot better and even though you beat them 2 in the first leg, you know, they, they still had in terms of the propensity of chances and everything and they put a little pressure on you guys. Well, no one wants to enter into the stage to lose. Nobody goes into the stage to lose. Tivoli has always been a fighting team and I'll always give the credit to them for that. Um, I'm happy with their performance. They did give us a good fight, you know, and this, these are the things that we live for in football, you know. Uh, can, you, can you try and explain that second half and especially that that five minutes where the, the three penalty take, um, they have to take the three penalties over. I mean, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. First of all, I wanted to find out what was the call that you got, why the penalty was given in the first place. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. We did a poor officiator, but at the same time, you know, the thing is, you know, hindsight is 2020. And um, for me, as I said to the boys, and Dane says to them, uh, Taylor says to them, always remember, you, you play the game as if you're playing against 13. Yeah, play the game, don't expect any calls from the referee. You know the pedigree that we come with. You know the name that we have. You know what we have achieved already. And every, most people would like to see us lose. Unfortunately, it's really hard for us when we, we play games like that. You know, one penalty being retaken three times. Come on, seriously? I, can, I must give credit to our goalkeeper. He's the best goalkeeper this country has to offer at the youth level. Um, and he, he saved all three penalties. You know? That was the next, that was the thing I was going I was going to. I mean, how much of that, because it seemed like it was a, an injection, not just in terms of for the team, but in just for the fans as well, given the circumstances and everything. Well, you know, we love him. He's a, he's a very enigmatic, very charismatic player that we all love. He's, he's, he, he motivates us. We, he has certain talents with him, the kick that he has, his abilities in the goal, his leadership skills. And he showed it today. He rose to the occasion like a true phoenix. Um, I mentioned, I think there was a, a game, the Camperdown, the Camperdown High game. It was a very difficult, very passionate. Would you say that this is a, um, this was similar in terms of one of the hardest games, even though the scoreline... It was, was similar like, in terms of the aggression. It wasn't similar in terms of the football. I think Camperdown played more football. Tivoli came out here today to fight, you know, and um, they fought. And some, some teams play like that and some teams win like that. You know, but we were able to rise above that. We were able to play good football, counter. Um, we were we played half, three quarters of the game with ten men. You know, and and with ten, actually nine and a half men because one of the players were injured. So we we, we came through. It's a it's a testament to the spirit of the school. 
the rising nature of the school, the, 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 the commitment of the, the, the teachers, the, the staff, the kids, the parents. You know, it's really good to see a money cup game and to hear people screaming for Mona. Finally, you know. I know that this is what um, finally. I know that this was what you want initially, and you've indicated that this will be the last ride for you, um, especially for the next games. How much of that? Uh, moment we want to bring in terms for the next game to make sure to give it your all, especially since you we're going to give it our all. And even though it may be the last ride for me as the coach, I already have strong coaches here. Yeah, I've already made sure that our management team, everything is in place. They, I'm not leaving. I'm just making sure that I'm doing the other part of my job, which is the management, where I have to move the players. Now we can't ask them to to give us 100% at youth level, money cup level, and when I need the advocacy overseas. I'm not there. It's my job. I have to be there for Leon. I have to be there for Whisper. I have to be there for Dante. I have to be there for Daniel Mitchell. We have to find the opportunities. We have to get those, kick down those doors in Europe and let them get a chance. And that's my job and I'm going to do it. We know that, know that that's a long-term goal, but in terms of for short-term, Manning Cup or bust? <laughs> well, we're going for it 100%. We're not, we, you know, it's a, it, we don't play to lose. We're going for it 100%. And we, we are, I think this team uh, has... Yeah, we, 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 we haven't never lost. lost. I think this, we have shown that we have what it takes to win on any level. We can play good football and win. We can grind it out and win. We can overcome bad judgment by referees and still rise and come again. And this game should have been won easily, particularly based off the calls that they were getting. And to say that the boys came up and stood up for themselves and, and, and for their families and for the school and their fans, it really was a pleasure. Congratulations, quarterfinal bound. All the best for the rest of the way. Thank you.